Today we're going to show you once again the versatility of a 12 gauge shotgun. This is a short lane 12 gauge to 22 long rifle adapter. It is a very short barrel, less than 3 inches long, and it has no rifling in it. And without any rifling, the bullet is very unstable, so these are only good for very short ranges. We'll try to rectify the stability issue by using these Crossman Red Flight non-lead pellets that several people have recommended to me. Note the size difference between this 12 gauge quality slug and this tiny pellet. Loading is very simple, we just slip it into the adapter. In order to power this, we use these Ramset nail gun blanks. Now we should be able to drive these pellets at over 2,000 feet per second, but I would love if someone could chronograph these out of their handgun or their rifle to verify those speeds. And if anyone wants to tackle that, contact me and I will definitely help promote that video. And as a comparison, we'll also be shooting some CCI Stingers, which are a pretty high velocity round. And you'll be able to see with your own eyes the speed difference. And as always, we'll have interesting targets to shoot at. I have no idea what that is. But <laughs> it'll give you an idea how accurate these are and what ranges we can actually hit things with. It's a really windy day today, so I'm going to have to do some creative editing to eliminate that noise. But look at that pellet flying along. It looked like it was flying pretty stable. It shot a little bit low, but the damage was pretty substantial. It just passed right through that thing. Now let's compare it to a CCI Stinger 22 Plinkster's favorite round, I think. Now these shots were taken at 10 yards or maybe a little less than that. You'll note that the bullet is flying sideways. It seemed to be a little more accurate than our pellet. The damage was actually less with the CCI Stinger though. Now let's compare the velocities. The top screen is our pellet, the bottom is the Stinger. Look how much faster that pellet is traveling. We would get even greater velocities if we shot these through a full length rifle. In fact, the pill would be traveling close to 3,000 feet per second. Now we'll show you what birdshot does to that melon. Dang it. At that distance, nearly every pellet impacts Carl the cantaloupe. Yeah, he's got to have a name, right? Again, the shot was a little bit low, but look at that nice clean entry hole, big exit hole right there, indicating that it was flying nice and straight and true upon impact. Now remember, these pellets are lead free. I believe they're made out of zinc. It's a much harder material than lead. We had a lot of problems when we shot lead pellets using these blanks. In fact, it blew the skirts off many of them. Whenever you're ready. Now Greg was aiming at the center of the label, it hit a little bit to the left. These definitely are not the most accurate rounds we've ever shot, but good enough at that distance. Okay, ballistic low. Whenever you're ready. Yeah, it hit about center. This ballistic gel block is about six inches thick. The pellet had no problem passing through that. It did lose the red plastic skirt though. Next, the hydrostatic guacamaya, whatever that is, test. <laughs> hey, you find some weird stuff at the dollar store, I tell you. Whoa! Not too exciting in real time, but in high speed, we can see that. We did get a little hydrostatic action going on there. Even though the pellet hit to the right, there was enough force to pop the lid open. You may be asking yourself, what is the effective range of this little shotgun adapter that we're using? Let's find out. We'll be shooting at 35 yards. That's pretty close. And mind you, only about half of them actually impacted. But I'll show you just the impacts. Golden bullet. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, yeah.
So you definitely won't be doing any long range sniping with this device. You'll notice that the pellet, there's absolutely no deformation to that at all. When we compare it to the golden bullet, you'll notice that it hit backwards. Yeah, and the same thing happened to the CCI Stinger. Both bullets ended up hitting backwards. It is mayonnaise for, for Western spies. You've seen people split playing cards with a bullet, but you've never seen anyone split a jar of mayonnaise with a bullet. Even that horrible, evil, nasty miracle whip. Oh, I hate that stuff. Ugh. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And I do hope that somebody takes me up on the offer of shooting these through a chronograph and see what kind of velocities you get.